Five things you should do to keep yourself safe. 20 years of teaching personal safety. Heading back to your vehicle, you got it parked in a public lot. When you're about 25 feet away from your car, make scanning literally the only priority. There's a couple of reasons for this. If you are being followed for whatever reason and the individual following you doesn't know which vehicle is yours, and hopefully they don't, they won't know your final destination, which car's yours, until that distance. Then your stopping point becomes predictable, which is something we want to try and avoid if humanly possible. The other reason to scan at that distance is because most people don't. As they get close to their vehicle, they're thinking about a million things, packing the kids, the stuff they just bought, where they're going next, the restaurant they're gonna eat at. It's usually a thousand other things other than personal safety. So you scanning at that distance, at that specific time, not only does it help you be alert to what's going on around you, it also gives the impression, rightly so, that you're a hard target and you will not be easy to sneak up and ambush, which is the point. If we can avoid trouble, that's, that's the best way to go about things. The other thing to do is to come at your car from an oblique angle at a distance far enough away that you can see under your car as much as possible and then under the car next to you as well. As the distance closes down, start to become cognizant of dead zones around your vehicle and the vehicles around you. By dead zones, I mean any area you can't see around or through. Where would somebody, if they were hiding, approach you from and start close in and then work your way out? Lastly, if you see anyone in the parking lot that you just saw in the store five minutes ago, it's not a coincidence, or at least I don't want you to interpret it as a coincidence. I want you to be suspicious. If that individual is also in tune and alert and also in tune and alert and interested in you, that's a cluster of signals and you can trust the cluster. Respond accordingly. Now that response could be anything from just aborting and going back to the store or getting yourself defense tool ready or just creating distance and waiting for that person to get in their car, whatever you deem appropriate. But don't ignore the fact that you've seen someone multiple times and now you're seeing them again in a parking lot as being as being harmless because potentially it's not and we always want to err on the side keeping you and yours in one piece.